What's up? It's Avery Woodley, same team. I hope you guys can hear me. Once again, I am outside. I love being outside. So you're gonna hear some noises. Hopefully they do not interfere too much. But I wanted to address this whole T.D. Jakes has gone viral talking about our women are men, okay? And I've made some videos recently and maybe about two years ago or a year, year and a half ago uh, talking about some of my personal experience with the whole masculine, feminine, and when it really dawned on me that I was living and existing, you know, that I was existing in my masculine, right? Because to me, a woman cannot live in her masculine because it goes against nature. And that is why we have such a hard time when we operate in our masculine on a daily basis and we can never flip the switch and turn off our masculine energy and step into our divine feminine. So back when I was existing in my masculine, okay? So anyway, a lot of people sent me the clip of T.D. Jakes and they're like, this is what you talk about. And then I had some people that were like, oh, you know, you're just talking about this because it's a trend. You can go back on my YouTube and listen to the conversations, listen to me talking about existing in my masculine. And as I'm sitting out here today, I'm like, you know what, let's, let's talk about it. I remember during my whole healing and initial accountability phase, right? And when I say initially, like the first moments when I really had to sit myself down and say, no matter who did something to you, no matter what's going on around you, what about you? What did you do? What did you not do? What part have you played in, in the things that have taken place in your life? The point that you are at right now, you did not get here because of someone else, okay? you got here ultimately because of you and it is your job to do the work to get you out of this place and I was sitting and I was having these conversations with myself you know because that's all you can do you're in isolation when you are working on yourself ladies you are truly in isolation you have to cut out all outside noise your girlfriend saying ain't nothing wrong with you it's them it's him it's all of that no you have to cut all that off and really sit with yourself and I remember one day I was sitting, I was thinking about how hard it was, right? Life is hard enough on its own, but when I was existing in my masculine, it was always hard. I was always tired. And I wasn't just tired because, yeah, I was a busy mom and I was a trainer, entrepreneur and all that. I was completely, completely exhausted, no matter how much sleep I got, because I was getting up every day trying to be someone that I was not created to be. Do you know how tiring that is? I was getting up, moving like a man, thinking like a man, acting like a man in so many ways. And it was going against nature that it was exhausting me. It was weighing me down. It was literally choking the life out of me, right? And then it took a toll on me, not only physically, but mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Women are not supposed to be men. Men were created for a reason. Women were created for a reason. And I remember one day I was just sitting, I was thinking, and God was like, you know I made you a woman, right? And I say this in a YouTube video. I don't know what YouTube video it is. I'm not that savvy to attach it to this, but just go back. Um, and he's like, you do know that I made you a woman. And I was like, what? You did. And he was like, now it's time to act like it. Act like it. Live with it. Connect to it. Rest in it. He was like, by you going against and fighting against what I created you to be, you are telling me that I made a mistake. I made a mistake in choosing and selecting you to be a woman. I made a mistake in creating you to be a woman. Is that what you're telling me? Are you telling me that I am wrong? How can you believe in me and call on me, but you are going against what I made you to be? He was like, yes, some of the stuff you have gone through is hard. And it is taxing, but you were making it so much harder on yourself. Some of the things you went through would not have happened if you were a woman. If you were living in the space that you were supposed to, if you were believing in me enough that you accepted the assignment that you are a woman. He was like, there is power in that. He was like, you're trying to find your power in somewhere that I didn't put it. He said, your power is right here. Your power is in you. Your power is in the fact that you are a woman. 
and he was like you owe it to your to yourself but also to your daughter to show her what a woman is he said you need to become a woman and i was just like damn i've never really been a woman right I have been fighting against it if it was just the way I was raised, society, the messages that are constantly being put out there, movements telling me that I'm lacking as a woman and I need to act, talk, think, and do everything that a man does if I want to be successful and if I want to leave my mark on this earth. No, I cannot leave a mark on this earth operating in my masculine, existing in my masculine, because what was put in me that I am supposed to birth comes purely from the fact that I was created to be a woman, right? So when, for some people, I get it, it's a trend. You know, it's a trend, they're talking about stuff because it looks good and they're pandering to a certain group and people say that I'm doing the same thing. But no, baby, this is my life. This is not a trend, right? I went through so much and everything on me was so heavy when I was disconnected from my feminine. I didn't even know what feminine was until I started doing the research after that conversation that I had when God was like, um, Avery, you're a woman. You're not a man. And that was my aha moment. And from then forward, I have worked so effing hard to unbecome, right? I had to completely unbecome before I could become. I had to completely detach in some ways for my masculine to connect to my feminine. I had to learn what it was. I, it was so uncomfortable, right? I was completely exposed, wide open, wide open to let things flow out, but also I was wide open to let things come in. And a lot of times that is scary for women, right? Because we want to not guard our hearts in a healthy way, but we completely shut ourselves down from everything, right? We completely disconnect from everything that gives us life. We can we disconnect from everything that truly makes us beautiful. The makeup doesn't make you beautiful. The different hairstyles, the clothes, the red bottom shoes, the bags, those are just things, little accessories, right? But in order to be a woman, right? In order to really connect to that divine feminine and realize its power, it's everything that people can't see. Right? When you have been around women and it's just something about them, it's just pouring off of them. It's a light, it's an energy, it's love, it's magnetic. She's not loud. Her ego doesn't precede her. She doesn't even have one, but you want to know her. You want to be in her presence, right? That is the divine feminine. That is the magic. That is our power. Stop listening to everyone around you, right? Even the hurt women in your family, they told you what they knew about womanhood based on their hurt, right? These are hurt women trying to guide and direct you. And what they're doing is they are guiding and directing you away from your feminine. And then you have other groups telling you if you wanna break glass ceilings, right? If you wanna create a legacy, if you want your last name to be remembered, if you want to do this, this, and this, you have to talk like a man, think like a man, and walk like a man. And you do not. We have more women that are men. And what a real woman is, is scarce. I don't want that for my daughter. That's why every day I get up, I have to work so hard on continuing to evolve into the woman I was created to be for her and for my boys. Because I'll be damned if they end up with the egotistical masculine woman who belittles them, berates them, emasculates them, and tears them down and tells them that they are not worthy and that they are less important because they don't have a womb. No, 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 no. My boys have just as much worth and just as much value as my daughter does. I mean, that's just my thoughts. They might have been all over, but that those are my thoughts. This is my story. This is my life. I will continue to use my voice and put it out there. No matter what masculine, mean, modern women want to talk about me and try to take me down, you cannot... Let me tell you something. I've already been 
as low as you can get. There is nothing you can do to take me any lower. The more I talk and the more you all hate, I know that my truth and the truth for so many women is triggering you. As long as you continue to get in the lane of being a man, as long as you continue to get out of alignment, you will never have true happiness. You will never truly be free until you step back into your lane and in your space as a woman. It's a great place to be.